a set of data for you to try exponential regression with. This is the CD sales. This is like the music CDs, not the monetary CDs. And it's in millions of units for the years 2005 through 2017. We're going to assume continuous exponential decay, simply so you can get some practice with that model. And I want you to find a model for this data and then predict the CD sales for the year 2020, similar to what we did for the previous problem. I'm going to read you the data. So if you're putting your data into Desmos as we speak, you can get it from this. Before I read you the data, let's go ahead and agree on a T value for the index. So let's let lowercase t be the number of years since 2005. So 2005 is year 0, 2006 year 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Going all the way up to 2017 being year 12 and 2020 being year 15. I'm going to go ahead and read you this data. If you're putting the data into Desmos, you can put it in as I read it to you. Data is in two columns, the T column and then the sales column. When T is zero, the sales are 705. T of one, sales 630. T two, sales 500. Then three, 370. Four, 300. 5, 250, 6, 240, 7, 200, 8, 170, 9, 140, 10, 115, 11, 100, and 12, 80. This is a decreasing set of sales, kind of unusual. Go ahead and pause this video now and see if you can make an appropriate model and a prediction for the CD sales for the year 2020. All right, we're back. I have this data over in Desmos. Before I go look at this data over in Desmos, let's go ahead and write out what that second variable is. I'm gonna use a capital letter S, and this is going to be the sales of CDs in millions of units. Let's go take a look in Desmos. Now, the data that we have in Desmos shows a kind of curious curve. It does look like exponential decay, but I have to say that the first data point doesn't look like it fits the rest very well. So it looks like pretty good exponential decay from t equals 1, but I don't know about that t equals 0 point. We may have to try a few different models to see what we like here, but we're going to use continuous exponential decay, which means that our model is going to be capital S sub 1 tilde a e to the k t sub 1, and the k t sub 1 is in the exponent. When I add that model in, we see a fairly nice decreasing exponential curve. It's an exponential decay curve. It does touch many of the points in the model with an initial value 715.08 and a k value negative 0.1903. I'm going to go ahead and write down this model. S of t equals 715. 0.03 e to the negative 0.1904 t. And this uses all of the data, no forced initial value. If I find s of 15 using this model, I find the CD sales in 2020 to be 41.11 million. Let's play with some options here though. What happens if we do force the data through the first data point. So in other words, if we make a model S of t that forces the initial value to be 705, let's see what the rest of the model looks like in that case. Now we just have a k value coming from the model. It still looks like a pretty good model. And the k value is negative 0.18735, or let me round that to negative 0.1874. So now we have the model 705, e to the negative 0.1874 t. And again, we can find a value for s of 15 here, sales at the year 2020, which would be 40.54 million. 
if we just look at this data without a model on there, it almost looks like we have a concave down curve that then becomes a concave up curve. And that's what I don't like about that first data point. It just feels a little awkward to me. So I'm gonna mess with that. Uh, the rest of the curve looks like a pretty nice exponential decay curve. I'm gonna see what happens if I take off that first data point. So I'm just gonna put my cursor in there and backspace over that first data point to remove it. And now I'll go ahead and do a model of a e to the kt1 based on that. And that actually looks like a pretty nice curve as well. It has an initial value of 728.719 and a k value of negative 0.19444. So this model is s of t equals 728.72 e to the negative 0.1944 t. And again, we can calculate the sales for t of 15, s of 15. And for this model, I have a result of 39.46. So I'm going to say based on these three models that the expected sales in 2020 is between the lowest value I have and the highest value I have. So expected sales or expected CD sales in 2020. So the expected CD sales in 2020 should be between 39.46 and 41.11 million units. Again, when we're doing exponential regression, it's really best to give yourself a few models to look at to make an accurate prediction. And it's also best if the other people who are going to be using your predictions know that there is some variability there.